Hey Libras, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna get into it and see what's the vibes. See what spirit has for you guys at this time. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for all the likes, comments, subscribe, shares, views, tips, donations, bookings, purchases of the decks, purchases of the personal questions during the live, as well as private bookings. I really appreciate you guys. So if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, then you belong here. If you don't have Libra in your chart, but you found this channel, then you belong here. Take what resonates, leave what does not. As this is general, but we're going to get into it and see what's the vibes. I send you guys love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. So, Spread, what is the messages here? What is the overall energy here for my Libras? You have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so it's like... The king of pen, I feel like you guys could have went through some type of backstabbing betrayal, could have been by an earth sign. Also, I feel like you guys are in this king of pentacles energy, right? Very focused on your finances, very abundant. Um, someone that's well off, someone that got it like that. And that's just on period, okay? So let's get into the message and see what's going on. What's, what's the message here, Spirit, in regards to this King of Pentacles? We have the Knight of Pentacles here. So you could definitely be dealing with Earth sign energy. You could have Earth in your chart. You could have an Earth uh, rising sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Also, um, there could be someone that's wanting to come in and bring you some type of reliable, stable offer. Some of you guys could have also came into some offer, some type of reliable uh, finances. Um, this could have took a long time, right? It's been a long time coming. You guys could have also experienced some type of lack, some type of homelessness, poverty, but it's like now you guys are uh, in this more reliable, stable energy, okay? What is the message here? We have the King of Cups. So, your finances are balanced. Your emotions are balanced. You're in this emotional, mature energy. Um, somebody also could have rocked the boat, right? In, in regards to love. Um, I feel like you guys didn't have your boundaries up. When it came to this person, and they could have kind of rocked the boat a little bit. You could have took some time to offer this person uh, something reliable, something stable, and this person could have rocked the boat. They could have definitely um, been the type of person that doesn't know how to respect boundaries. What is the message here for my Libras? We have the two of wands here. So maybe someone uh, didn't respect your boundaries when it came to uh, some type of passion or creative thing you had going on. Also, this could also be travel. So maybe you guys travel somewhere. Maybe you guys were planning like a world tour, traveling the world or traveling a certain part of the world. Maybe this has something to do with a water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But I do feel like you guys are also in this energy of like making things happen at this time. You could have definitely been dealing with some type of Otis energy, deceptive. Someone could have possibly tried to steal from you. Maybe someone is now trying to come back and uh, give you what they owe you. It could have took them a really long time. What are the messages here? We have the Fool and then the Queen of Cups. So for some of you guys, it's like you have a new beginning here in regards to love. I feel like also you guys are looking at your cup of love, um, you know, being very choosy in who you decide to give it to. You could have Pisces in your chart. You could have a Pisces uh, moon. But I feel like you're very loyal. I feel like um, 
you could have cut somebody out because they disrespected your boundaries. And now you're like focused on your couple of maybe pouring into yourself, right? But Or you guys could also be having a new beginning with someone that's very sweet, someone that's very loyal, someone that's like a sweetheart, a gentleman. Also, I feel like you guys have a newfound uh uh, way and perspective that you're looking at your your worth and what your love is worth. You guys could also have somebody spying on you guys. This could be this earth sign. Clarify the seven of wands. So we have the five of wands in reverse. So I feel like you could have released someone that overstepped your boundaries. This could have been a family member. This could have been also someone that you shared a family with. Clarify the two of wands. So we have the world. So there was definitely an ending here. Okay, so you guys ended something. Turned your back to this. Maybe this person was um, dealing with you and dealing with others. They could have had something else passionately going on behind your back you could have uh caught this person maybe even with their pants down or sleeping with someone else and you ended this now you're having a new beginning now you're looking at your cup of love in a completely different way it's like you guys could have also upgraded upgraded your boundaries um maybe even change the type of people that you deal with it's like maybe you guys have a new uh, standard or a new type. Clarify the fool. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. So I feel like you guys have been really focused on your Pentacles after this juggling. For those of you that uh, resonate with there being some type of juggling here. I feel like you guys released the, the drama. You ended the situation. This person didn't respect your boundaries. You guys are looking at your couple of in a completely different way. Knowing your worth. You've been working on your pinnacles as well. I feel that's why the overall energy here is the king of pinnacles. Some of you guys could have definitely um, upgraded not only your the value on love, but your finances as well. It's like you guys went from the Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. What was this drama here, Spirit? Clarify the Five of Wands. We have the Six of Cups. So this could have definitely been someone from your past. This could have been someone that you have children with. This could have been a Scorpio that you definitely had children with. But I feel like you guys put an end into this. I feel like you guys are pouring into yourself, loving on yourself. Clarify the King of Cups. So we have the Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess here. So I feel like you guys are in this energy of like using your intuition, knowing that you want equal give and take. Also, you intuitively, you realize that this person was breadcrumbing you, that this person was also giving to another. That could have been something that was hidden. With the moon here on the bottom of the deck, you could have definitely been dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. I feel like it was hidden that this person was actually um, seeing someone else, maybe late at night. I feel like they were exposed. Um, this could definitely have been a Scorpio for some of you guys. I, or a Scorpio could have exposed this to you. I feel like you guys could have gotten into some type of drama or some type of argument. But definitely was being breadcrumbed by this uh, King of Cups energy. This, For some of you guys, this could be someone that's in your past. Clarify the Six of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles here. So this could be somebody that, um, again, you share a family with. This could have been a Leo. Also, I feel like you guys are like, focus more on your pentacles, okay? 
It's like you guys could be very wealthy or this person could have been wealthy. And it's like you guys are like focused on success. You're healing. It's like you're a star as well. It's like you're healing from some type of illusion that caused a tower in a relationship. I feel like now you guys see above this illusion. Um, you see this person as toxic. Also that this person was uh, maybe dealing with some type of sex addiction here. You guys are holding back from this person, receiving abundance at this time. Things are being balanced out for you after being backstabbed and betrayed multiple times. This person was definitely um, playboy, playgirl type of energy. Very sexual, very passionate, very um, manipulative. Also, I feel like you guys are like, after this backstabbing betrayal, it's like it kicked you in a high gear to be focused on your passions, right? Um, moving fast, being very ambitious, manifesting a passionate new beginning with yourself, for yourself, with yourself, and for yourself. So maybe this was someone that you shared some type of um, business with or you had some type of... Uh, maybe a business relationship as well as a sexual relationship with this person. But I feel like you actually move forward. You're doing things on your own. You're manifesting a passion and new beginning. Also, for some of you guys, this could have been someone that you feel um, manipulated you and um, had you start some type of sexual relationship with this person under false pretenses. Spirit is saying this King of Wands energy here. Someone that is very um, passionate. It's like this could also be someone who um, sends a lot of nudes, dick pics. Like they try to create an illusion around their penis, okay? That's just what I'm getting. I feel like you guys turned your back on this. You felt or found out that this person was always in multiple third parties or putting you in a third party or someone that likes to indulge in threesomes. For some of you guys, this could also be same sex for a masculine where this person could have actually been seeing three other masculines or you and two other masculines. Someone you could have had a, a two of cups definitely with and it's like you, this person was exposed to you so you held back from this person. I feel like you did have a period of kind of like feeling sad about it but this person is also sad because it's like this person is into threesome this and threesome that and having multiple options. And now this person is heartbroken and in regret that they didn't invest in his two of cups. This could definitely be a Leo here. Also, I feel like you guys have found your inner strength and confidence and you guys are moving forward. And now this person is burdened. Also, you guys are in this wounded warrior energy. So you have your guards up. It's like you guys are cutting out the the mask and the um, fake shit with this person. For some of you, you could have also busted this person. Someone could have gave you some type of information and you guys could have uh, pulled up on this person and caught them with another person. There could have possibly been a physical altercation around this. This could have been a Virgo here. Clarify the Queen of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. So you could definitely now be uh, being stalked by this water sign energy. They're watching you work. This could be someone that you work with. This could also be a cancer that you moved away from. You could have uh, met this person in some type of social setting or you could have had a mutual friend with this person. But this person couldn't make a decision and now they're under judgment for juggling you. Now they're going from the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords because they feel like you're their wish fulfillment. But they know that they've messed up. This person is definitely trapped in a mental prison. They're not getting any sleep at night. They're suffering with the anxiety, maybe even depression, okay? Because they see you as their wish fulfillment, but... They caused heartbreak and sorrow because of the third parties. And now you guys are having victory and success. Also, this could have been um, 
you guys are in this energy moving forward you could be getting some type of public recognition now um wise counsel for some of you guys you could have uh, hired an attorney you guys could be getting victory and success in a divorce with this person now this person is wanting to come through and offer you some page um offer but you're ending this here it's like you're cutting this out clarify the knight of pentacles the knight of swords so you guys are definitely moving forward also i feel like you guys could have confronted this person with the truth and what you knew okay you could have drove over to the house really fast like and confronted this person about this hidden truth okay so take what resonates leave what does not clarify the moon what was hidden here spirit what was hidden we have the Eight of Swords. So, whatever was hidden definitely put you in the uh, Eight of Swords, had you trapped in the mental prison. Also, I feel like what was hidden from you is that this person was trying to keep you stuck, trying to have you in bondage in some type of way, trapped in your emotions, not being able to see, not being able to move. For some of you guys, it's like, it's giving me like a house arrest energy for some reason. So, for some of you guys, this person could have been the type of person that left you home and then they go out and do all kinds of shit while you're home, trapped in your emotions. I feel like you guys are single now, big Libra energy. You guys call judgment on this, right? You're very attractive. You use your intuition. You're moving forward. For some of you guys, you could be offering your cup of love to an emperor now or you would definitely divinely guide it. It's like you guys are... In this self-love energy, you're the emperor now. So you guys don't went from the knight of pentacles to the king of pentacles to the emperor. You were divinely guided away from this person. This person is definitely dealing with lack, feeling left out in the cold. For some of you guys, this person could actually be homeless. Also, you and this person could have had a difference in um, religion and spirituality. There could have been some conflict there as well. Some of you guys, you have a child with this person. But you definitely move forward. You guys are in this empress energy, divine feminine energy. It's like you guys have stability. For some of you guys, you are married now in a new relationship or just in this stable energy. You guys have healed from this. You guys have moved on. You guys have success, happiness, nurturing your inner child. Very happy healing at this time. You're the star pouring into yourself. You have multiple options. Okay, this was definitely a tower moment. This ended this higher level of commitment. You guys definitely see above the illusion now. <clears throat> and you guys are having your dreams fulfilled at this time. This is justice here, karmic justice. You guys are getting uh, good news, okay? Some of you guys have a new relationship, um, someone new that you're seeing, that you're passionate about. This person feels uh, regret that they didn't invest in you. They also regret being in this uh, deceptive energy. For some of you guys, um, you definitely move forward. This person is looking at you, admiring you now. Also, for some of you guys, you're pregnant now. You're moving forward. You're getting a lot of good luck. You're in hermit. Some of you guys are in a relationship with a soulmate, a Virgo. You guys just definitely got married, okay? For some, rejoicing and celebration. There's a lot of passion here. There's an end to this toxic relationship with this person. Could possibly be a Scorpio. I just got a confirmation. So you guys are manifesting at this time. Getting victory and success. Getting your wishes fulfilled. There's rapid change here. You guys have a new, a new cycle in love. And that's on period. So continue to move forward. Let's get some advice here. That was a lot, okay? It was flowing, though. So I feel like you guys are also in this energy of allowing things to flow at this time. You focused on your money. Let me see who's spying. Oh, I was about to say who's spying on y'all. But whoever's spying on y'all is in a nine of swords. They can't sleep. They can't eat. They can't think. They can't get a good night's sleep to save their life. This emperor, this Aries, this Taurus, this uh, father, this person that loves third parties masculine or feminine excuse me this person could also be thinking about you having a new uh passionate sexual relationship with someone else and they're definitely in regret that they uh 
rejected you. So, what is the advice here? Two of Cups. So, Spirit is wanting you guys to um, continue to pour into yourself, balance out your masculine and feminine energy, okay, your light and dark. Also, you guys are going through a transformation. You guys will have a Two of Cups. It's definitely an ending to that relationship. Again, like I said, having a new uh, found respect for your worth, your love, being cautious of who you give your cup of love to. What is that right here? We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So definitely uh, loving on yourself. Also, it's like you guys are in this new uh, beginning and you guys are not looking for love. Some of you guys are just enjoying time with friends, um, enjoying being single, sexy, abundant, and free, right? Going through your transformation, being connected to the divine. What is the advice? Three of pentacles. So definitely working on your pentacles. Collecting up your harvest, working really hard and having victory and success, having your wishes fulfilled. So I feel like spirit for the most part is when most of you, if you aren't in a relationship, maybe to just focus on yourself at this time. Enjoy your single season. And that's on period. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.